So pausing at what is probably a very strange time on Palm Sunday uh, <laughs> when we're not quite sure what time it is anyway because we've moved the clocks um, to reflect on, on that and I said earlier in the week that as we move to Holy Week uh, I was going to offer a kind of virtual art exhibition so I'm just inviting you to contemplate that whenever you do whether you're joining me now or whether you watch this later doesn't really matter this is when I can do this today as we go through the week I'm going to try and make it around midday ish um, where I can to to share just a thought some art and uh, and the journey through Holy Week so today is Palm or Passion Sunday with all manner of stories associated with it. Um, we look at the passion of Christ, we consider what is coming in the week ahead and we look at the very strange, somewhat political, also um, prophetic uh, entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem and if you've read my pastoral letter you will know that um, that some recent scholarship from uh, folk like Dominic Crossman has said, you know, there was another parade coming in at the same time. Uh, and in a sense, Jesus was challenging um, the authorities, subverting their authority. But I just wanted to pause and share a, a few pictures with you. Um, and I've set them up in my kitchen diner. Uh, which is a strange place to do it and yet I know a lot of the places where Jesus um, met with people were these very domestic situations although he challenged the status quo um, and the story tomorrow uh, goes into the temple uh, I don't have one so you'll still be in my kitchen diner for which I make no apologies whatsoever but a couple of pictures, images for you. So the heart here, um, I'll post a photo of it, but we've got the heart with a nail piercing it and then tears falling from the heart of God. We're reminded that Jesus wept for his friend Lazarus, we are reminded that Jesus wept over Jerusalem itself. We are reminded of the passion that is to come. And then I've dressed my painting of the shadows of the cross with, well, they're not palms, but some greenery from my garden and some cloaks that may have been thrown before Jesus. And I wonder where we would have found ourselves in the crowd. Would we have been those shouting Hosanna? Would we have been scratching our heads? What would we have been looking for if we were there that day? Not knowing that the cross was to come not knowing that the cross was to come. So I share with you a poem. Sorry, me wandering about the house here. So sharing with you a poem. making sure I can find said poem. <laughs> I love technology. So, Invitation to Holy Week. What have you seen that draws praise so easily from your lips today? What have you heard? Has he touched your heart too? Have you known, do you know the wonders of his love? 
Is it enough to keep you close, even though it leads you to the cross? Is there another you could go to, one you could turn to, whose peace would match the peace that he gives? Will you watch with him this week? Will you enter the story afresh? Will you walk with him along the way, beyond the cheers and palms to Gethsemane's depths with blood filled sweat and tears? And where prayers re where and prayers where groans replace words, for the anguish is too deep. Will you come to the hill? Where surrendering to nails and thorns, beaten and bloodied, he gives his all for you. His invitation is given. Walk with me and I will lead you through death to life again. It is a cycle that bears repeating. Walk with me and I will lead you through death to life again. It is a cycle that bears repeating. His heart for you, his journey for you. Given for you. Jesus Christ, I think upon your sacrifice, you became nothing, poured out to death. Many times I've wondered at your gift of life, I'm in that place once again. Once again Jesus Christ I think upon your sacrifice You became nothing Poured out to death Many times I've wondered at your gift of life, and I'm in that place once again. I'm in that place once again. And once again I look upon the cross where you died. I'm humbled by Once again I thank you, once again I pour out my life. Now you are exalted to the highest place, King of the And 
Once again I look upon the cross where you died. I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside. Once again I thank you. Once again I pour out my life. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, thank you for the cross, my friend. Thank you for the cross, thank you for the cross, thank you for the cross, my friend. Thank you for the cross, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, my friend. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross, my friend. Oh, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you. So however you encounter God this Holy Week, may you know the blessing of the one who would give all for you, who was pierced for you, who weeps for the world and held nothing back. God bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.